So if y'all don't know, I am currently going to school to become a veneer tech. Huh? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. No! Oh, hell no! Stop it. Get some help. I'm Kiki Ayers, and I am a victim of the veneer villain. Good evening, guys. My name is Dr. Trevor Jamal Thomas, board member of the United Council of Cosmetic Dentists. We, the collective, I'd like to share with you a few reasons why we unequivocally oppose such actions dubbed value veneers. I'm Dr. A, and we have heard all the buzz about these veneer texts. Let me tell you, this is not a real job. This is not a real profession. To do veneers, you must complete an eight-year dental course that requires you to go to school that's right, for eight years. You cannot learn all this in a two-day course. This is actually highly illegal to impersonate a doctor of any kind. It is highly illegal to do procedures that are qualified only by a licensed doctor. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Dr. Q. Everybody has been asking me about veneer breath. Like, is that a thing? Why is it a thing? And it's a thing because people are going to unlicensed dentists. They're not taking care of the underlying issue, which is why it's important that you go to a restorative dentist to ensure that you're taking care of your teeth prior to placing any type of cosmetic or aesthetic restorations. Here's a big red flag, guys. Whenever you see a business that goes by, teeth by, veneers by, smiles by and it's not being offered by a licensed dentist in a dental office it's not a good idea don't do it i was around when they was giving booty shots for the low in a garage i grew up from a lady down the street that was actually doing her garage so i know ain't nothing new under the sun i know if you think you're a licensed contractor you feel like you can do everything but now nah, not this if you feel like you think it's like it's just like nails it's just like doing it ain't it ain't it ain't, it ain't. You can play basketball, you can play football, you can play golf, you can even play tennis, but you can't play dentistry. Ugh. Another huge issue that we have with what's going on is the potential for harm and even death to patients. As scary as that sounds, these procedures, if not done by a qualified licensed dentist, can lead to infections in the gum, it could lead to tooth loss, it could lead to infections that spread into the sinus, even into the brain, which could cause death. Yes, it is that serious. What if the patient has high blood pressure? Oh, y'all taking blood pressure? They taking blood pressure, John? No. Me say. What if they have a latex allergy? What if, what if, what if? There's too many what ifs. Hey, how y'all know what's going on if they got infection? This dangerous, y'all. Like, are they numbing people up with this? Y'all truly like numbing people up. And do you know how many epinephrines you can give somebody before they just start, you know what I'm saying? Start getting clammy? Man, y'all don't know, man. Like, for real, it's scary to actually deal with patients on a regular, and I'm an old dentist. And if you guys are looking for affordable dental veneers right here in the United States, you don't need to see a veneer tech, no. You can tap into one of these resources like Seeking a Cosmetic Dentist that offers payment plan options that'll allow you to smile now and pay for it later. Visit your local dental school that offers veneers like NYU Dental School. Now, in other news, you don't end up paying twice. I can't count how many times I have to redo someone's work that was not done properly. And a lot of times people are going to these quote unquote veneer techs and not getting work done properly. And at the end of the day, you're going to end up paying twice. So I urge you do it right the first time. So you don't have to do it again. Holla back and talk to you. Peace. If you have that drive and passion to change lives by enhancing folks smiles, find yourself a mentor, a licensed dentist who can show you how to do dental school and how to get it done the right way. Stop playing in these folks' mouths, man. It's true. I went to nurse school before I came to dentist. It's, it's, it's scary dealing with patients and telling you just out here working on people without having this health history. It's too many unhealthy people to just be working on them without getting all the information on them, y'all. Y'all go, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. You take a liability to somebody's life. They can unalive them. That's a new term I heard if you didn't know about that. You can't, can't say the D word, unalive. So please, do not trust these people with your teeth. If you want your veneers to look natural, not like a natural disaster, you should book with us. Thank you.